guys and welcome back to my channel today i actually am using another camera so i actually can see myself on top there and I, it makes me a, bit, a little bit distracted because i look at myself instead of looking at you guys so i'll try to look at you guys uh, today i thought i would talk about my tattoos because i have gotten a lot of questions about them on my blog, on my Instagram, and here on YouTube lately. Because you've seen some of them when I've been talking and yeah, doing like this. So I thought it would be fun to show you each and every one of them and talk about each and every one of them so that you know why I got them and what's the story behind them and everything like that. But before I go on with that, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for one video a week. Sometimes I make two but mostly one that comes up on Sunday. I have a fashion, beauty, lifestyle and travel mostly. Let's start with the first one. The first tattoo I got was when I was 20 years old, 21 years old I think. So I was not that young and I had thought about it a lot before I decided to go for it. And I actually began with a tattoo behind my ear. Because when I got the first one I wanted it to be I was, I was sure that I wanted it, but I didn't want it to be visible for everyone all the time. And, but I started with one behind my ear. It's K and M, that stands for Kaya Maria, of course, my initials. And that's really safe because it's never going to change. It's always going to be my name. And I'm never going to get tired of it because I almost never see it. So I think that was a good one. And when you get the first tattoo, you want more. So that's just a warning. Most people, when they get their first tattoo, they always want more tattoos. Not all, but most of them. All the people I've talked to have been wanting more. And I'm really glad that I took my first one at the age I was, 21. I'm very glad I didn't take one at 16 or 17 because that one I would have regretted. I'm sure about it. So I'm really glad I took my first one when I was Kind of more mature and I know what I wanted and I know who I was and yeah everything like that so that was the first one and then a year later I took up to on my wrist on my ribs I took it to do my ribs not my wrist then it's kind of not that important to me that it really really means something of course it means something for me but it can also be just a pretty tattoo and it doesn't have to have that deep meaning or like remind me of someone or like yeah you know what i mean like the things that most people think about when they get a tattoo a lot of people think about when they get the first tattoo that is so i got one on my ribs where it says never stop dreaming and i really mean that you should never stop dreaming you should follow your dream you should go for your dream you should work for your dream and never stop dreaming because the day you stop dreaming I don't know what's gonna happen because I dream all the time but the day you stop dreaming life won't be fun anymore I think and you have to dream about things huge things and you will eventually get there maybe not all of your dreams will come true but a lot of dreams I'm sure of it so that means a lot to me that's never stop dreaming I think that's yeah, I think I will mean that forever and I hopefully I will dream forever and hopefully some of the dreams will come true Okay, so uh, when I've gotten that one, I actually waited, I think I waited two years for the next ones. I was thinking long and hard about them. So I've had, I had seen a lot of different tattoos that I really, really wanted and I think was really pretty, but I didn't have like a meaning behind them. But I think they were so amazing and I, every time I saw people having them, I was like, oh my God, I want that tattoo. So after two years of wanting those tattoos, I thought to myself, okay, so you've been wanting them for two years, you probably will want them for a lot more years to come. So I decided to get them and since I only do like small tattoos, they charge by the hour. So I thought why not do two at the same time for the same price as one because they're so small. So I got two at the same time and one of them is this one the hanger, clothing hanger. I've been working and been into fashion for as long as I can remember. I, my first job was at a shoe store 
and then at the clothing store and then I'm at another clothing store and now I'm working at the marketing team at a huge department store so and I'm also blogging about fashion that's mostly it so I thought that was one was really really right for me I think a lot of people also think of it as a as like I'm the hanger of the clothes but that's not my opinion about it opinion that's not my meaning with it it's just that I love fashion, I love the things I work with, I love clothes, I love bags, I love shoes, I love the fashion industry and everything like that. And that's kind of the meaning of it to me. And I will always be into fashion. And the other tattoo I got at the same time is when I got here. It's a diamond tattoo that I actually saw on Kinza, the Swedish blogger, for the first time. And after that I've been googling and googling the diamond tattoo and I've really it's i think it's really really nice so i decided to get it at my arm still not a tattoo that you can see a lot if i'm not like flashing my inner arm but i think it's nice and it doesn't have more meaning to me than that it's just a diamond tattoo and i like it i think it's pretty i think it's nice and that was two at the same time then my mom asked me if I wanted to go get a tattoo with her because she wanted not one but two tattoos and since I already got four and I still want more I decided to go as a chaperone with her mental support when she took her first tattoo and of course I also wanted to do some myself and these two I got in May this year I think it was April, May this year and I always tend to get my new tattoos at the spring. I don't know why, but when February comes, I always start to think of what new tattoos to get for the season. So I always get new tattoos in spring and I probably guess the same will happen when this spring arrives in 2017. So we'll see what I do then. But I had some things in my mind. But the next tattoo I got then was one here at the back of this arm. And it's a palm tree, which I actually also saw on Kinza, Swedish blogger. And I'm just, I just have that obsession with palm trees. Every time I'm out traveling, I love palm trees. I love snapping photos of them. I love just looking at them. I love palm trees. I can't help it. So I thought, why not take a palm tree on the back of my arm? I can't see it myself, so I'm not getting tired of, tired of it, but it's there. And whenever I use the top, or a dress without sleeves is visible and I got a lot of tattoos in my arms now so a lot of tattoos is visible then me and my mom decided to take a tattoo the similar tattoo just like to show me and mom our relationship and that's a little heart on my sleeve there we got the same one we both got that little tiny heart on our sleeves on the same place and that's really, really cute because every time I look at it, I think of my mom. I think of her other than that as well. But I really think about it every time I look down on it. And I will love that one forever because it's my mom. Um, so yeah, that was my six current tattoos. My brother has gotten a tattoo that is standing for me, my other brother and him. And I need to get that one because we all need to get that one. My youngest brother is only 13, so he won't get it right away, but hopefully he will get it when he turns 20. But I will get that one, but I'm not sure where yet. And I also really, really want the world map. I want the world map like my arm here, I think. It's so nice and I initially wanted it here, but I think that will be too small. So I think we will have to do it here. And then after that, we'll see what happens. That's the two tattoos I want right now. I just have to figure out where. And in spring 2017, it's probably gonna happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little bit different video, a little bit different topic for me this time, but next Sunday, I will be back, will be back with fashion again. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also, I would love to know if you have any tattoos, what your thoughts about tattoos is. I know a lot of people hate them. But I like them and I like to express myself with them and I it's like piece of a piece of art or piece of jewelry that's on my body for the rest of my life. 
I'm okay with that, I love it. So I would love to know your opinions, I would love to know if you liked one of my tattoos, please comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.